welcome to another Juice Cash Short. I'm DJ, and today we're going to be looking at the Cisco 510 debridged atomizer at 1.5 ohms uh, versus the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer at 1.8 ohms. Um, we're going to start off with the Cisco. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Um, because honestly I was really disappointed in this. I have three of these and I chose the best out of the three. It's not just that I got a bad one to do this show, but um, that and I'm glad I caught that too. These things are pitiful. Um, I had to get the water because also they're bad about shooting. If you can see, it shoots the juice up through the hole and gets into your mouth and uh, nobody wants a mouth load of juice. So, um, and also the airflow is very, do it again. I'm not going to uh, keep on doing this, but the airflow is very restricted on it, uh, especially compared to the dripping atomizer. Um, this is the Smart Vapes uh, that I'm putting on here, uh, dripping atomizer um, at 1.8. Uh, the Pro Vary is at 3.9, and I haven't changed it for this, so... Now see that that's more like what you would expect there. This, uh, I mean, when when I heard about Debridge, I was like, oh cool, you know, people are having good experiences with it, and I got one from Cisco, but I, that had turned me off until I got one of these. Someone just gave me one, and uh, I was like, whoa! I went right out and bought a five pack online. Um, these are these are awesome. This is what D-Bridge is supposed to be. You get huge clouds of vapor, lots of flavor. What else can I say? Um, check out these smart vapes. I'm also going to be reviewing the Avid Vapor. Um, I forget the name, but it's the, the AVO or something like that. It's another D-Bridged atomizer or bridgeless atomizer um, that uh, that they're selling or, or something like that, but hopefully it beats the uh, Cisco. Sorry man, it's just uh, didn't didn't pick a winner on this one, but uh, now everything's blowing up. So for JuiceCast, I'm DJ.